Outlook has the ability to create digital business cards for us that'll hold contact information. And we can use those business cards to easily share contact information with other people. are a great way to be able to organize and also share contact information with other people. And I can see here in my contact view, I've got a few business cards for people I've made already. And Outlook will automatically generate business cards for us. But if you want to actually see them, you do got to make sure you're in business card view. And I am already, but if you're not, here under the home tab, I can go to my current view, scroll up and down and make sure that you are uh, in business card view here. So I'll go ahead and click on that. So let's say I want to share a business card with somebody. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on the business card I'd like to share, such as this one here. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to forward this to somebody else so that they'll have Mike's contact information. So I'll click on forward contact and I can say forward as a business card. And I'll go ahead and click on that. And what it's going to do is it's going to make an email here and it's going to make a little attachment with this business card. And it's going to put the information down here as a little graphic. And I can go ahead and I can send this to somebody. Maybe I'll just send it to myself. And I'll go ahead, go ahead and press send. Okay. And I'll go ahead and check my mail here. And there's the email I just sent. And the email has the subject line of whoever I was uh, sending the business card on behalf of. And I can go ahead and I can open that up. And here's the actual business card there. And there's the information and I can see it out. And what I can also do is this actual business card graphic here. I can right click on it and it gives me the option to add this to my Outlook contacts. It'll automatically take all of the embedded contact information and add that as a contact in my actual contact list. So it's a great, easy, painless way of being able to share that information. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and close that down. And I'm going to go back here to my contact view. When you're creating a contact for somebody, we can customize how the business card looks. And if I double click on a business card here to open up the contact information, you can see as I type in information, it gets added in here to my little business card preview on the side. So if I go in and add, let's say a phone number, you can see that automatically sort of pops in here. And that's great, but I do have some options for what my business card looks like. And notice up here, I have a business card button. I'll go ahead and click on that and it's going to come up and give me a preview again of my business card and I can start to go through and change how this looks. So notice here down at the bottom I have all these different fields. So I have the full name added here, the company, such as the business phone, email, all these sorts of things and I can click on them here, for instance full name, and I get a bit of formatting options here. I can increase or decrease the size of this one choose it to be bold, underline, italic, whatever I want. I can even do things like change the alignment and change the font color over here on the side. And I can do that for each field and come down to company here and maybe this is bold and I can go down here to you know business phone and maybe that's italic and maybe that's sort of in um, uh, maybe a blue or something like that. I go ahead and I can customize each piece. And when I'm done, I can go ahead and I can say OK. And I'll go ahead and confirm those changes in my business card. And if I go ahead and add a picture for somebody too, I can go in here and I can click the little Add Contact Picture button. And let's say I go ahead and I add a little OnTrack TV symbol here and say OK. If I go back to Business Card here, I can actually hear go in, I can actually change the image that I use on the business card and I can change the layout of it as well. So for image, I'm going to go change. And again, maybe I'll pick that on track TV logo and say, okay. And there I can see it's kind of trying to put that graphic there in the background, but I can choose the layout here to be different. I could say, put the image on the right, put the image uh, as like a background you know, maybe just text only so there's no images, image at the bottom. There's all these different ways I can go ahead and rearrange the image. And I can even change the image area. So how much space is allotted for the image. And also the image alignment. So maybe this just sits in the top left, maybe this just sits in the center left. And I can kind of go ahead and fiddle around with it to put it exactly where I want. So maybe the layout here, this sits in the um, image is at the right so on and so forth until you got it the way you want. I can even change the background color here if I want to. Okay, there you go. It's a pretty ugly business card. Maybe I'll make that like that. There we go. And I'll say OK. And there it is. And if I go save and close, I can see that actually changes how my business card looks. 
So there we have business cards. Now keep in mind if you're sending business cards to other people or using it as a signature, that business card gets attached to the email and sent as an attachment.